here in the Adirondack Mountains of New York State, the rocks are ancient. In fact, they were formed about two billion years ago as sediments in a tropical sea. Given that fact, you would be forgiven for believing that these stony peaks are just as old as the rocks that form them. After all, the nearby Green Mountains are 400 million years old, and the White Mountains of New Hampshire are at least 100 million years old. But the Adirondack Mountains are mere infants by comparison. They began forming just 10 million years ago. And what's more, while the granite peaks of New Hampshire are slowly being eroded down to nothing, the Adirondacks are not shrinking, but growing. Since the circular dome that makes up the Adirondack Mountains began to uplift, the area has been lifted about 7,000 feet. It continues to be lifted at about 2 millimeters per year, or almost 8 inches every 100 years. Hikers who ascend the range's tallest peak, Mount Marcy, today will summit a mountain that is 9.5 inches taller than the one President Theodore Roosevelt climbed over 100 years ago. This is remarkable for the East Coast, where most other mountains are losing height, not getting taller. Geologists aren't totally sure what is causing the uplift in these mountains, but some theorize that it's caused by a hot spot in the Earth's crust. The fact that there have been earthquake swarms near the center of the dome at Blue Mountain Lake lends some credence to this. However, the origin of the Adirondacks is still a bit of a mystery. It's fascinating and exciting to me to think that in a million years these mountains could be over 6,000 feet taller than they are today if this uplift continues at the same pace. Maybe one day they'll even outclass the great mountains of the West. As someone who was born and raised on the East Coast, and is used to rather diminutive mountains, it's cool to think that one day we could have massive mountains here again, as we did millions of years ago. The Earth is constantly in motion. Even things that look so unchangeable and solid like mountains are gradually morphing as time continues its unending march. Even if I won't see these future gargantuan Adirondacks, perhaps future generations of humans will. But, for now, we'll have to appreciate the Adirondacks at their slightly more modest height. Regardless of how high they reach, they are truly beautiful. Thanks for checking out this quick little documentary. I'm just getting started making videos for this channel, but I have a ton of other related topics that I want to cover. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more nature content. Happy trails!